Hello my friends and welcome to this tutorial and a club guide for the St. Patrick's Day tournament rookie division. So the, all these holes are played from the first tee uh, which of course uh, gives us uh, a way to play with different clubs and when you're playing in the, in the first division you play with less upgraded clubs. I'm trying to go through here the most general way to put your golf bag in, in good shape for the tournament. Uh, before we start, do not forget to hit that subscribe button on the channel. Uh, also, uh, check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. You will be able to buy different type of packages there uh, that will be more specific to you as a player for the upcoming tournament. Uh, all the holes uh, can be practiced on tour number four, uh, which is the sixth uh, star hotel. So let's start. Hole number one is the Thorn Order Hordent here. You will put yourself up on the right side and then you have a short one for the pin. You will not have that much wind and the ball will not be affected by the wind that much for, for your second shot. So if you're lucky enough, you will get the eagle there. But choose the Thorn or the Thorn on this one. Hole number two, would you have the Viper or the Backbone, depending on how you want to play it. If you want to hit it into the rough, just on top and uh, close to the green, you use the Viper. If you want to bounce it in between the bunkers, you go with the backbone. Check out the tutorial I made for from the front tee with the, uh, on this hole, and you will see what I mean with hitting the rough just close to the green. Hole number three, it's the big dog all the way and every day. Also use a Titan ball at least, I would say, uh, because you want to have distance. Put yourself on fairway, and that is important. And then for a second, so a second shot, you do have the big dog. Important to at least give yourself an opportunity for uh, for your third shot. And if you don't have upgraded clubs for it, you will have a hard time to reach for the green in two. And that's uh, that is something that will be for many people that are uh, playing from the front tee. Hole number four, uh, Viper or the Backbone. Again, depends on how you want to play this one. If you want to play it uh, using the rough just next to the green, you use the Viper. Otherwise, you use the Backbone, bounce it up to the green. I would go with the viper uh, every time to be honest because it's always good to stay away from obstacles if you want to bounce it over a bunker you do have the bunker in play if you want to play over the bunker you take the bunker away from play hole number five saturn or or and the thorn you need to have a lot of backspin on this one because you want the ball to uh, stay nicely on the green so use also use a ball with a lot wind a lot of wind resistance if that's possible but choose clubs with a lot of backspin so if you don't have the satin or the thorn choose clubs that are uh, that do have a lot of backspin hole number six part five again and we go with the big dog we do need length here uh, especially if we do get a little bit of tailwind uh, but uh, in general, this is a birdie hole. You shouldn't be that hard on yourself if you are only making a birdie because many people will not be making an eagle. Hole number seven, Viper or the Backbone. Here depends actually on which type of ball you're using. If you're using a ball with distance, then you will play with your long iron. If you play with a basic ball or with a mauling ball, then you will be playing with Backbone or a long iron for that instance. So important there to uh, to bounce it over the water to go onto the green and depending on your playing with your wood club or your long iron you do have a different type of spin to use so check out the tutorial for this hole on the channel hole number eight a thorn or the hornet this is a hole where i do think you need to have an eagle uh, uh, at least one out of two time in the weekend round so uh, have that in mind that you put yourself up to to the fairway if we do have the win for it, go for the green in one. Hole number nine, the big dog here, you, need, you do need length on your second shot. But the most important part here is to go for the fairway. Put yourself nicely on the fairway and don't try to do anything special. Uh, use two bars of topspin with the driver, curl it around a little bit. This is an opportunity for you to actually use a quarterback if you do have that one instead of the extra mile if you don't have that much curl on your extra mile. So again, check out the tutorial and you will hear me speak about that. So my friends, this was the uh, with, this was club guide for the rookie division in the St. Patrick's Day tournament. Speak up in the comment section if you do have any questions. And my friends, in the end here, I would uh, want to wish you uh, the best of luck. 
for the St. Patrick's Day tournament.